Hello everybody, welcome back. If you're new, bienvenidos. Uh, speaking a little Spanish this morning. Welcome to the Legacy YouTube channel. My name is Dedrick Baker. I'll be your host. I'm the president of the Legacy FHP, the Legacy Foundation for Human Progress. We are here to help you progress. You are more than what you think you are. You literally have unlimited potential. And if you want to hit that potential, you need to dedicate and focus your time and energy on a mind, body, spirit routine. That is our focus at the Legacy. If you want to join the Legacy, hit up my email below this so we can uh, hit our potentials together. Yes? So today we're going to talk about spirit basics. What is the spirit? What is Kundalini? What is your biofield? What are your chakras? How do I access them? How do I tune into them? How do I, how do I use them? How do I tap into that energy? Um, these are all great questions and they need answers in order for you to understand every aspect of your mind, body, spirit system. So remember, you are a mind, a body, and a spirit in conjunction, linked in together. These three points form the personality triad. They are a reflection of the divine triad, the universal triad, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. These are, those are kind of archaic terms, so I'm going to update the, the, the phraseology for this video. I'm going to refer to it as the Father, the Son, and the Mother Spirit, or the Father, the Child, and the Mother Spirit. Okay. Think Father, Mother, they come together, they have a child. The child can be a son or a daughter. So if I say father, son, mother, spirit, you know what I'm talking about. If I say father, daughter, mother, spirit, same thing. There's guys and there's girls, okay? So in order for you to understand the entire spiritual circulatory system or the kundalini, you need to understand this concept of trinity. Father, mother, child, okay? In that triad, we are the children. That's why they call us the children of God. We are the children, but God is not just a father. God is a mother. Okay. The picture of God isn't just male or female. The picture of God is male and female in union. And when those two energies combine, creation happens. You need a guy and a girl to come together to have a kid. Okay. So the universe, the creator, God, is both feminine and masculine. And when they come together, they produce a being, a child, a son or a daughter, me or you. Because you are the child part of the Trinity, you, you have those two other aspects of father and the mother, those circuits flowing through you. They also flow through the universe. You can call them positive and negative circuits masculine and feminine circuits, yin and yang circuits. They go by many different names, but you need to understand that for this conversation, I'm going to use father circuits and mother circuits. Okay. The, or positive energy, positive and negative energy. These energy circuits flow throughout the universe. You are a manifestation of the universe. You are nothing but elements and particles interlinked together for the time being. And when you die, your body is going to rot back away. You're borrowing those atoms and elements and particles from the universe for X amount of years before you give them back. You are the universe experiencing itself. So these father and mother positive and negative circuits flow throughout your entire body. Even atoms use positive and negative circuits to link in together to create new substances, chemistry, you are a biochemical vessel. You have these circuits flowing through you. This is a reality. In order to understand how your spirit interfaces with your physical vessel, you need to understand the concept of father and mother circuits. How do I picture these father and mother circuits? You can picture them as easy as picturing a strain of DNA in your mind. So the double helix that weaves in and out of itself. Picture that, superimpose that over your spinal column. Okay. One side of the DNA is positive and the other is negative. 
when they flow in and out of each other. One is the father circuit and one is the mother circuit. The positive and negative and they connect through you, the child, the son or the daughter. You are supposed to be balanced in both of these circuits. Balance in both hemispheres of the brain, whole brain thinking type people. But for some reason, we have become unbalanced. This has nothing to do if you're a male or a female. You can be a male that's way out of balance um, on the father circuit or the mother circuit, or a female that's way overbalanced on the mother circuit or the father circuit. It doesn't matter. These circuits exist through daughters and um, sons. This is your Kundalini. When they talk about Kundalini meditation, this is what you should be focused on. The two energy circuits that flow up and down your spinal column, your spine. And that is another key to the entire system. Your spinal column, your central nervous system is like the central computer processor for your entire body. From your spinal column radiate nerves, fingers, little, little dendrites that go throughout your entire body. They connect to your central spinal column. So everything you feel, all the information you process from your eyes down to the things that you touch gets processed through your central nervous system, your spinal column. Information is both coming into your brain and going out of your brain to move your hand. When I touch and feel something, that's information that comes into my fingertips and goes up to my brain. When I want to move my foot, that's information that comes from my brain out to my toes. So you're processing information in and out from your brain. Does it remind you of something else? Positive and negative energy, father and mother circuits that flow up and down the middle of your spine. These two different types of nerves, of, of uh, these two systems of nerves, the nerves that send signals outwards and the nerves that send signals inwards to the brain are classified into two different categories, your dorsal set and your ventral set or your posterior set and your anterior set, your front and your back. They allow you to feel and control the sides of your body and the front and the back parts of your body. This is how your nervous system is set up. And your nervous system is a physical manifestation of this kundalini spiritual antenna that exists within the self. But I must stress that you cannot just think about these concepts in order for them to function correctly. Remember, you are a mind, a body, and a spirit. Ain't no way around that. You have to address each part and they have to be integrated and in a state of development or else you're not going to experience the kundalini energy correctly. You're not going to be able to experience the chakras correctly. You can't just think and meditate your way into a higher dimension. Every part of the self needs to be at that level so that you can get into that higher dimension. If your physical body isn't at peak shape, isn't, isn't working at peak condition, at tip top physical condition, you can bet that this father, mother, positive and negative electromagnetic circuitry that runs through your body isn't going to be running correctly or efficiently like it should be. So you need to be physically fit. You need to be eating right and exercising daily. You need to be learning mentally new concepts, new ways of thinking, learning about subjects, learning new languages, working the brain like it's a muscle, lifting weights. And you need to be conscious of the spiritual circulatory network that runs through the body. That is the only way you're going to get a full integrated Kundalini experience. That is the only way you're going to activate the spiritual circulatory system. Too many people are overly focused on trying to understand the universe and the concept of God and the Trinity only in the mental part of the self, and they forget about the physical and spiritual aspect of the self. Some people only go deep off the spiritual end and forget about logically understanding the universe, or they totally forget about um, exercising and eating good or become, or take out nutrition from their diet that is essential to their diet. It's all about balance and harmony. The universe is balance. The universe is harmonious. God is balance. So you need to balance the father, the mother circuits, along with mind, body, spirit integration. And once you get all three parts of that mind, body, spirit system running, and you are aware of your spiritual circulatory system, is when you will get the correct Kundalini experience. 
through breath work, visualizations. Those are coming in the next Spirit Basics. I got you guys 100% on that. But this video is only focused on the Kundalini circuits, the mother and father circuits, the chakra system, and how it correlates to the physical body. And the only way to experience a true Kundalini experience is through an integrated mind, body, spirit, developmental approach. That is what we do at The Legacy. I don't know about you, but I'd like to be part of the legacy of humankind. I would like to be a part of the legacy of all of humanity. So if you want to be a part of the legacy, join the legacy. The email is right below here. The only person holding yourself back is you. If you want to hit your potential, that is what we're doing at the legacy. So join up. Like I said, we're going to have classes on a weekly basis. The schedule will be coming out soon. I'll probably put it up in my next video. Just, I want to give you guys a heads up. That's in the making, that's coming. So we'll have open classes two, three times a week where we have these open discussions and we start talking about the action steps and how to implement these concepts. Because this isn't just conversation. These, this isn't just watching my YouTube videos. This is how do I apply the concepts within? How do I truly seek my potential? Right? Exactly. So if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe, like, share, help a brother out. I would appreciate that. Um, we just got a Discord channel. If you want to keep the conversation via text, if you want to just have a conversation, if you want to get more updates on the, the class schedule and the open conversation schedule, join the Discord. The link will be in the description. We are working on getting a building, a physical building, and starting a retreat. We in order to get a building, we need to get funded. We need donations. We need to get money because money makes the world go around, I guess. Psych. Um, <laughs> but seriously, we're, we're trying to get a building. So I do have a Patreon. It's patreon.com slash the legacy FHP. So if you want to back and fund the legacy FHP, be my guest. What else? What else? What else? I think that is it. I hope I remembered everything. If not, I'll put some... Um, updates in the description. I'll put some links to other cool videos in the description. I love you guys. I am Dedrick Baker, President of Legacy FHP. Until next time, sayonara.